Welcome back to Good Living and it really is a pleasure now to be joined by new Ashburton author, uh, really John Irwin, talking about his book and it's against the odds, I've been calling it against all odds, sorry about that John, like the Phil Collins song, but it's against the odds That's and right. that, that really does encompass what the book is all about. John, thank you so much for joining us today. You're, you're welcome. First up, congratulations on uh, achieving such a remarkable event as publishing a book. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's absolutely incredible. Was it hard once you decided to do that? Not really. I I, um, I did it all in six months, and um, but you know up till then I didn't think I'd ever be writing a book. But I just sit, uh, my mother always wanted me to write a book, so one day I just sat down back in February of last year, and I couldn't stop writing. I couldn't wait to get out of bed in the morning to finish the book off, and I finished it in June, June, July. So that was but, obviously meant to be. Well, it must be. I don't know. I don't know whether I take that. Yeah, that could be right. I don't know, but I feel good that I've done it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's an incredible achievement. Yeah. Can you tell us about your condition, John? What's it called? It's called arthrogryphosis multiplex congenita, and it's very rare, as I say in the book. And um, it affects my forelimbs, and um, mentally, thank goodness I'm all right. And uh, well, I think so. <laughs> and and, and um, but that's about all. And um, but uh, you know, I've improved as I've gone along because um, nowadays they probably use different um, medical thing, whatever the word is, now what they did like 40 years ago when they started, 40 or 50 years when they started working on me now, sure. it'd, be more, it'd be a lot more um, um, exercises and um, physiotherapy work instead of bone structure things mm. I think, yeah. So, that, But um, it was all new at that time. So did, yeah. you, did you know anyone else around, I mean you, you no, grew I, up on a farm didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Anyone else in the summer? Yeah, yeah we're all, we're, the, we're quite you know, way, way in between Rakaia and Methan and um, yeah it was a real battle for mum and dad you know to um, find out all the, they don't get all the support like, like they do now. You That's know, right. It's all, um, you just have to, we had to make it really our own way, yeah, yeah. And because you had to have a lot of your medical treatment up in Wellington. I did, So you yes, spent a lot I, of time spent, from, away from home. Yes, I, at my first couple of years were in an Ashburton hospital, then I went up to Christchurch and they couldn't really get on with me, um, fix, really get, um, improve my, medic, my handicaps. And so they sent me up to Wellington and, um, and there was a good surgeon by Sir Arthur Gillies, who was one of the top surgeons in New Zealand, and he started working on me, and I was up there for about six or eight years, yeah. Off and on. Off and on, coming back. And in those days, you used to be sent home for a couple of months to, after a big operation and rehabilitate, although they used to send me out to Silverstream Hospital, which is out of Wellington. I used to go mm. there for three or four months to rehabilitate before I came back into the... Goodness. To cry, to Ashford, I mean to um, Wellington Hospital to have, have more operations, yeah. Can you remember how many operations that you no, had? No, I've got all sorts of scars all over the <laughs> legs and <laughs> yeah. arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. I bet. So despite the condition, John, you've led uh, a really varied life and, and your independence um, from reading your book is amazing. Your mother obviously had a love for, for film and how, how wonderful for you that she could go back and, you know, you can have footage of yourself when you were young and uh -huh. things like that. That must have been fabulous as well and kind of helped your collections for the book, did it? Oh yes, yes. Mum, mum wrote a wee bit there for me, which she always had wrote something for me that encouraged me to write something. But oh yeah, they were fantastic memories of mum and dad. And um, so no, no, they played such an important part, though, didn't they? And anyone that actually reads this book, you will you'll see that at the end, and the, the tributes to them, and really kind of shaped who you are today, and helped you lead, as we say, this amazing well, independent I, life, which led to writing this incredible book. Oh yes, and all the, all the and my spouse, my spouse, my brothers and sisters, that brilliant too. Mm, yeah. yeah, that family unit oh, is, yeah. is really brilliant, really yeah, strong. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. So tell me, you're doing something very generous now, with all proceeds from your book going to charity. Yeah, yes, um. I've had so many people do so many favours for me over my life, you know, it's been brilliant. So, you know, I, you know, it's great for me to be able to give something back to, to um, society. Mm. So in Ashburton, for the, for the Writing for the Disabled and the Heart and Blind Foundations, we're splitting all, all, the, all the proceeds up with, between those three organisations. Which is fantastic. Yeah. So, Writing for the Disabled, uh, the Blind Foundation. Foundation. And, and the um, Heart Foundation. And the Heart Foundation. Mum had a bad heart for years and years. She died of a heart attack. Yeah, she had a bad heart for years, so it's good to do that. And, and blind, I, I, to me, is the worst 
is the worst um, disability of all disabilities, I always maintain. So, so that's why you'd like to give yeah, back to Yeah, and then, then we were brought up with ponies while us kids were over our lives, so that's how, we, how I came to do those three. And now I know you want to say a big thank you as well to the team um, that have helped um, promote this book for you guys. Oh, I do, yeah. yeah. I just want to thank the guys who are going to handle the book in Christchurch here, Paper Plus and Miraval, um, Simon, thank you, and Jeff in Northlands Moor, thank you very much, and also Mark in Barrington Street, Spraden for handling the book. Um, 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 no handling fees. So thank you very much, you guys, mm. and um, also Ashburton, um, also for um, Jeff down Ashburton. I mean Terry, sorry Je Terry, yeah, <laughs> for handling the book. Yeah, so it's been brilliant. And Paper Plus and Ashburton, you can still get the book from there. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm. Okay, yeah. so Paper Plus Ashburton is the place that you need to go to buy this book uh, and do buy it. It really is. It's a very encouraging and inspirational story, and of course, it's helping those three amazing charities. And once again, as John just said, a big thank you to everybody that has helped in every way possible. John, thank you for coming in today. I appreciate that. I really do.